Good morning, YouTubers. So back under my wing here, I do have a small leak originating from a loose rivet, or I don't know if the rivet is loose, but the fuel is coming from the rivet itself. And I will show you here that, and I've sanded it down a bit, but this rivet here, there's a, a small leak that's originating from this and uh, so I've sanded it down and I've used this technique on the other wing and it seems to have done a pretty good job what I'm going to do is using compressed air I'm going to blow some red gasoline uh, tank sealant into this into this rivet um, the, the sealant itself is not too viscous so it does a good job of um, getting into those little little cracks. So I'm going to get a brush and I'm going to apply some uh, red sealant here. You can buy this on Amazon. And, um, and I'm going to dub it first and then I'm going to use this uh, compressor hose adapter that I 3D printed uh, which I'm going to apply up here and as you can see I've already done it since it's red and I'm going to blow as much of that red sealant into that um, rev, um, that rivet, hoping that it will go into the um, crack or the very minuscule crack that the gasoline is weeping out of. So we'll see if this works. Well, we won't know if this works until I keep some gasoline in it overnight. But I am running a test on the on the other wing where I did the same thing. And so far it's holding pretty well. I might have to do it one more time just to get it right. But I didn't want to have to, you know, drill out the rivet. Oop. So here's this red stuff that I'm applying. Oops, I completely missed there. Just gonna apply a little bit and then apply some more. Just want to make sure it's over the area. And then using compressed air, I'm going to try and push that into the cracks. So I'm done with this part. I am going to use this adapter. You can see here. And it doesn't have a shutoff valve, unfortunately, so I'm going to put it in position over the red sealant. Push real hard. And so there you see how fast that was. So I'm going to repeat that two or three times. I wish I had a better device for throwing that air up there, but I don't right now. So I'm going to reapply. I hope I squeeze enough of this stuff in here. That I push enough of it inside that it uh, that it blocks the hole. And then I'll obviously clean the surface. So here we go, attempt number two. Might have to do this. As you can see, there's a lot of compressed air. And I'll do it a third time. And then I'll clean it up. There we go. Try and press real the challenge. Oh, that was a good one. That felt good. That felt like that did the job. Let's clean this up. I tend to have this plane repainted, so 
it doesn't really matter if you're a little bit messy. But there you go. So I can't see any red, but I'm hoping enough of it went inside whatever minuscule crack there is. And then it's going to set. Now, I already did this to the other wing, which I will show you now. So I don't know if you remember, but this was weeping gas pretty bad. The wing is now full of gasoline. It's been full of gasoline for a couple of hours. And you can maybe detect there, there's a little bit of red sealant. And I might have to do it one more time just to be sure, but basically there's no leaking. So I was able to push the red sealant through whatever cracks the gasoline was coming out of around the, the rivets. And uh, so far, so good.